Hello, hey everybody, I am Joey Sparks, and I'm with the Parish Church of Christ in Parish, Alabama. And we're reading through Luke's Gospel in order to know Jesus. The angel Gabriel tells Mary in chapter 1 of Luke that he will be great He'll be called the Son of the Most High, and the Lord God will give to him the throne of his father David, and he will reign over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. So now Mary's going to bring into the world the Son of God, and he's going to be a king. He's a descendant of Judah through David. and He'll be a king like David, but obviously better than David, a better David. He's going to reign over God's people, and God's people are a spiritual people. So this reign will last forever, and the kingdom will last forever. Now think about how foreign that would sound to Mary, how it sounds even to today's standards when it comes to kingdoms. Mary's already received the news. She's going to conceive, even though she is a virgin. She's got to wrestle with that weighty news. Now she has to grapple with how he's going to be a king, and a king that lasts forever. See, if you're in the kingdom business, it just you understand that it's not going to last. You hope that it doesn't end while you're king. You don't want it to end while your son or your grandson is king. But you know, based on history, your kingdom is probably not going to be eternal. But Jesus, as a ruler, a king who came to rule with kindness and justice to bring us to God, he does so with a reign that is eternal, and the kingdom itself is eternal. Jesus' kingdom is a spiritual kingdom. It's comprised of souls. It's not limited by physical heritage. It's not limited by physical geography. And it is already established. And thus, it will never end. Paul speaks of what God has done in relationship to us in the kingdom. And he does so in the past tense, or really the, the, more, the idea of the perfect tense. It's something he has done with continuing results. He has delivered us from the domain of darkness. We're no longer in the domain of darkness. And he has transferred us to the kingdom of his beloved son. See, when the Jews rejected Jesus, and they had the Romans to execute Jesus, they didn't thwart or pause or shift the plans of God for the kingdom. Instead, they actually fulfilled God's will. They lifted him up. And through the resurrection that followed, established Jesus as the king of the spiritual kingdom, his people, his church. We thank you for watching. We thank you for reading. If we can ever be of help to you in order to help you know Jesus, please reach out and let us know.